Yes, people, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all doing well. So, great victory last night for Manchester United against Tottenham Hotspur at Old Trafford. 2-0 to the Reds, if you didn't know already. And, of course, the goal is coming from Fred and Bruno Fernandes to give Manchester United the win in the second half. But, as we may become to expect at the moment, whenever Cristiano Ronaldo doesn't start, doesn't come off the bench, the headlines surround him. And to make matters worse, when he leaves the pitch on 89 minutes, all the talk is going to be about one of the world's greatest footballers ever, the greatest footballer I've ever seen, Cristiano Ronaldo. He's obviously going to attract those headlines. And that's exactly what has happened after the game last night at Old Trafford. And it's so frustrating, it's so annoying, it's so disappointing that this has become the case. And we have to go through all this pantomime yet again. Um, seriously, taking the attention away from a fantastic win for Manchester United. Now, we'll get stuck into all that. I'll give you my thoughts on what went down. And obviously, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. But Manchester United's win, let's react to that. Fantastic win for the Reds. Our best performance under Eric Ten Hag. We played for 90 minutes. Now, in previous victories against the likes of Leicester, Southampton, Arsenal, Liverpool, we've seen glimpses of what Eric Ten Hag wants United to do moves, passing moves, where we see you know, great possession of the ball, everyone passing the ball and we score goals. We've seen that through Manchester United, but we've also seen times where we've been a little bit shaky, you know, we've, we've not looked great in possession. You know, it's been up and down for Manchester United and you have to expect that under Eric Ten Hag as the team tried to learn what he wants from them. But yesterday's performance against Spurs was fantastic. We saw a complete performance from back to front. David De Gea, the whole back line in the defence. Then you see Casemiro and Fred in front of them. Bruno puts in a great shift. And the front three, you know, whilst they didn't get any goals, Jaden Sancho picked up the assist. Marcus Rashford on another day gets a couple of goals, drew a great save from Hugo Lloris, probably should have took another opportunity. Um, and Anthony hitting the post and looking, relative, you know, showing some great signs of skill at times. There's still a lot more to come from that front three. And there's still a lot more to come from United to tap. But, the performance was a fantastic team performance and we not only saw those fighting abilities and the ability to dig in and, and, and really grab the result but we saw quality in possession as well against a very good team but I was confident we were going to beat them I really was confident we were going to beat them even after the performance against Newcastle but nevertheless Cristiano Ronaldo leaves the pitch on the 89th minute he heads down the tunnel we see the pictures we see everyone talking about it it becomes a thing Although, funnily enough, during the game, um, and when I did my live reaction, I actually didn't, I wasn't aware of the situation because when I'm in the stands, I'm focusing on Manchester United, I'm singing about the players that are on the pitch. We sang Ronaldo's name quite a lot, to be fair, every time he warmed up, as you do. Um, you know, I love Cristiano Ronaldo, but I expected to see him on the bench. I think Manchester United at this moment in time are better when he doesn't start. Um, and that must be hard to take for him. It really must be hard to take for him. Um, that, you know, he's not starting games. He's one of the greatest goal scorers of all time. You know, he's been the best player in the world for most of his career. But unfortunately, the way Manchester United are going, um, United are better off without him in the starting eleven. And even with Marcus Rashford missing his opportunities, I saw a few comments saying, well, Cristiano Ronaldo tucks them away. And you know what? Cristiano Ronaldo does tuck those opportunities away when he gets in those positions. But he's got to be in those positions. He's got to be doing the other bits. And I thought Marcus Rashford did fantastically well off the ball. Um, and he gave them a torrid time throughout the whole 90 minutes. We've seen Mark, um, Cristiano Ronaldo drift out to the left and, you know, get frustrated that when the ball doesn't come to him. Marcus Rashford kept working. He kept running. He kept. And look, Cristiano Ronaldo's at an age where he can't keep doing that. But I think Eric Ten Hag deserves better. And Eric Ten Hag after the game said... I will deal with that tomorrow, not today. We are now celebrating this victory. So he clearly wasn't happy. And you see when he was asked by Amazon um, and their pundits pitch side, he wasn't happy with the situation, but he wasn't going to let it take away from the performance of his Manchester United team. Um, but unfortunately, you see the pictures everywhere. Armbri said after the game as well, there was a magnificent game for Man United. The story should not be Ronaldo walking off, but unfortunately it is. Um, and yeah, United, fantastic. The story's about Ronaldo. And ultimately, I think the manager and the player, to be fair, deserve better than what we're seeing at the moment. You know, the manager deserves better than 
one of his key players and one of his you know biggest names storming off the pitch after 89 minutes um, and, and before the whistle goes the manager deserves you know the attention to be on the team and that performance and what was good about the team not on Cristiano Ronaldo and Cristiano Ronaldo look I think he shouldn't start for Man United but in the same breath I'd say he doesn't do be deserving to be sitting on the bench wasting his last few years of his career and with all that being said the best thing to do is just let him leave in January hopefully not under a cloud and it's all positive and he can score a few goals and then you know get us everyone blessing and we sing Riva Ronaldo and all that like protect that but we can't keep you know and that's why I was disappointed about Roy Keane and Rio coming out and say, kind of getting on Ten Hag's back because he wasn't starting Ronaldo. United have been a better team without Cristiano Ronaldo, unfortunately. As much as I'd like to see Ronaldo starting week in, week out and deserving it. and we, To get goals out of him, you're going to have to change the whole way we play. And under Eric Ten Hag, we're building something. We really are building something that hopefully we can take forward and become a better team and compete for the trophies. But Manchester United's short term medium term, long term future is probably better off without Ronaldo and with all that being said I'd hate to see the board and everything kind of stand in the way of just letting him have a move in this, in January um, and I'd hate to see Ronaldo throw his toys out at the pram, you know, because he'll get game time, you know, Martial can't stay fit, he's going to get game time but let's not go out like this man let's not do that we saw it after Real Vallecano, all the talks about Ronaldo. We beat Spurs, our best performance of the season. Now the talks about Ronaldo. And it's just annoying, man. Ten Hag deserves better. Ronaldo deserves better. United fans deserve better. But yeah, let's not take that away from the fact that it was a fantastic performance. And look, let's not, let's not get carried away. You know, we'll see us have dips, have peaks, have... You know, we'll see these kind of performances. We'll see performances like we saw against Newcastle again. But ultimately, we're moving in the right direction. Um, someone commented on one of my videos yesterday. Eric Ten Hag is the right man in the right place at the right time. And that's exactly how I feel about this situation. I'm excited to see what Eric Ten Hag does. Um, I'm excited to watch Man United. Even after we drew 0-0 against Newcastle, I was sat there on the kickoff and I said it will beat Spurs. Not just because it's only Tottenham. But because I'm confident in what Eric Ten Hag is doing. And I'm so confident that I think now's the time to let Ronaldo go. Sad but true. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Keep it liked. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Till next time, I'm out of here.